My name is Chef Chris Jesus, and today we're going to make a mojo marinated flank steak and a Latin inspired warm potato salad. So today we'll be using flank steak. You can also use a skirt steak. Any kind of cut that's, you know, on the little cheaper side is ideal for this because they hold up to marinades really well. For this marinade, we're going to start with our spices. For one, we're going to use coriander and cumin, whole seeds. I'm using a mortar and pestle. You can easily use, you know, if you have a coffee grinder that's dedicated to grinding spices, you can, you can easily use that to grind it up, but we're gonna keep it kind of coarse um, because it's just gonna marinate this steak here. So we have those all kind of ground up now. I'm gonna add them to our bowl, which we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients in. For the rest of the marinade, we're gonna have some fresh garlic. You don't need to chop this really fine and precise. You're just, it's a marinade. You're gonna be dumping it after the steak is marinated. I'm gonna throw that in the bowl with our spices. Kind of get that to know each other. We have some fresh limes. I always prefer to use fresh juice. So we're gonna use about two whole limes in here for one steak. Some fresh orange juice in here as well. And then a touch of white vinegar for the third acid. Lastly, we're gonna use some uh, kosher salt. Just a little bit. Um, you're gonna season it when you cook it as well. But the salt helps break down the garlic and kind of bring everything together. And then I always use fresh cracked black pepper. All right, so we have our flank steak here, which is a lean cut of beef. So we're gonna pour this over here um, and let it kind of sit. I use the glove to touch the raw beef, um, but we're gonna put this in the fridge, let it sit overnight, and then tomorrow it'll be ready to hit the grill. All right, so now we're gonna put together the potato salad. We're gonna start with chopping up a little bit of this fresh garlic. We're gonna make it a little smaller um, than we did for our marinade. It doesn't need to be super pre precise, but you want uh, to be kind of small so nobody gets a mouthful of fresh garlic. We're gonna add that into our mixing bowl first. The good thing about this is we're gonna mix the dressing in the bowl, and then we're gonna add our potatoes to it. So we're gonna add these peppers here. These peppers are just bell peppers. We roasted them in the oven. Also, we're gonna add in some uh, fresh red onion. These are just sliced. Any, any way you wanna cut them uh, will work. Um, you can dice them. You just, again, like with the garlic, you don't want any huge chunks of uh, onion or garlic. So we have uh, some kosher salt, which we're gonna start with. We'll start with a little bit at first, just to kind of get the vegetables seasoned. I always like to cook in layers. So even when I'm sauteing something, we're starting a stew. I season in layers so you can salt your, you know, if you start with onions and garlic, salt that first and kind of build. Salt a little at a time so you don't just have a one note uh, seasoned item. Instead, you have, you can taste the onions and garlic and then taste your final product all in layers. We're gonna add um, some sugar. The sugar is to help uh, bring out the salt. We're gonna add vinegar as well so it'll help accentuate that. We're just putting a touch of sugar. We have some garlic powder as well. I always put garlic powder in my potato salad. Even though we have fresh garlic, it's a different flavor, a little bit more cooked um, flavor. Smoked paprika. You can use sweet paprika. I just prefer smoked. Um, we usually use a bourbon barrel smoked paprika here in Nashville. We have some red wine vinegar, just a touch of vinegar. Um, and of course, uh, some mayonnaise. Um, this is a mayonnaise-based potato salad, so we're gonna put a hefty amount of mayonnaise in there. That's gonna be um, the reason why this goes so well with the steak is because we're gonna have this creamy potato salad and the acidic um, marinade on the beef to kinda, to kinda go well with each other. So we're just gonna mix this up. The great thing I love about this is you can mix it, make the dressing, and do it all in the same bowl. I always use fresh cracked pepper and to meld with the flavors of this um, kind of theme that we're going with, we're gonna use some chopped fresh cilantro. So one thing that is not widely known is to use the stems of the cilantro. The stems actually have a lot more flavor than the leaves themselves. So we're gonna start actually with the stem side of the cilantro and just go small. Also don't need to be super precise on this. And now we're just gonna lightly mix this in now that we have the potato salad all mixed together, we're gonna let the flavors get to know each other here. 
um, and we're gonna set it aside while we get ready to cook our flank steak. So you always wanna generously salt uh, your piece of meat. Even though we put a little bit of salt in the marinade, you still you know, need to add extra. We only started with a little bit for that reason. All right, so if you're doing this at home, you wanna use a cast iron pan. What we did here, we salt and peppered it. We're gonna start with some olive oil just to make sure our steak does not stick to this pan. So we're gonna throw this on the pan here. You're gonna hear it sizzle. It's gonna splash on you a little bit uh, from the juices in the marinade, but that's just it hitting the oil. So now we're gonna flip this um, for this, this size flank steak, which is pretty average, about one to two pounds. We're gonna go four to five minutes on each side uh, to achieve about a medium temperature. Um, you can use a meat thermometer um, to achieve your desired temperature. Um, but what we did here is we're gonna flip, cook it for another four minutes, and then we're gonna let it rest. Um, why resting is a point important is it helps the juices um, settle in and keeps your meat nice and uh, juicy. So now that our steak's been cooking, we're gonna cut the heat off and we're gonna bring it over to our resting rack. All right, now that our steak's been properly rested, we're ready to slice it. Uh, for assembling this, we're gonna start with the base of our potato salad. So we're gonna go across the plate here and we're gonna create a nice bed for our steak to sit on top. It's gonna be easier to eat. Um, once you have the slices, it'll be easier to get a bite of your potato salad and your steak all at the same time. So what you're gonna do, like I said, against the grain, you're gonna start a uh, short end here So I'm just picking it up in sections um, and we're going to fan it out all the way across your potato salad. And what we're going to do is we're going to finish this here with some fresh limes for some added acid just to squeeze over the top and some fresh pick cilantro leaves just to garnish and get in with every bite. So the reason why I really like this dish is it kind of embodies you know, a summer cookout. Um, you have the nice potato salad, which has a little bit of acid from the vinegar, but the creaminess of the mayonnaise, perfectly grilled steak, and then it looks beautiful as well. To make this dish and some of our other summer favorites, just visit tnbeef.org.